Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.17.1.0. This week's update was relatively minor in regards to physical additions. It mostly was adding upon the NPCs that were added last week. We got some new quests and a few new characters added to the Liberator aircraft carrier over there. I will get into that in a little bit, but before I show that, I'd like to show you guys the two new physical additions into the game. We have two new weapons or attachments added into the game this week, one of which is the quad barrel. Very, very cool. It is a quad barreled master key. Absolutely insane. And then also a bayonet. It has come back from Unturn 2.0. It is a tactical attachment that allows you to stab things with your weapon upon pressing B. Many of you guys may remember this from Unturn 2.0. And there were tons and tons of requests for this to be added to Unturn 3.0. The only reason why the bayonet was not added to Unturn 3.0 is because of simply how good it is. Once you got a bayonet, you had a weapon of mass destruction. You could kill anything. You could kill zombies from a range. You could stab them once they got up close. Or if you wanted to be stealthy, you could only stab zombies. There was simply no reason for you to have a melee weapon once you had a bayonet. Now, the reason why this has been added to Unturn 3.0, despite it being so good, is because it's it's a quest item. Alongside the quad barrel, it's also a quest item. Uh, you cannot find this in a military base. You can't find it anywhere. The only way that you can get a bayonet and the only way that you can find a quad barrel is by getting it from a quest uh, on that Liberator aircraft carrier over there. Now, I'm not entirely sure which quest it is, and even if I did, I wouldn't want to spoil it for you guys. I just want to show you guys these new weapons that were added. Um, I haven't actually shot this quad barrel yet, but what immediately appears to be different is that it holds eight shots rather than two, uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, I actually want to try out shooting this thing. Oh, wow, super short range. interesting so basically it's just like a semi-auto blunt force at this point except it's got horrible spread anyway that's a quad barrel pretty interesting really i think my favorite aspect of these quest items is this bayonet because uh, in this case if you're on a pvp server or something along those lines if you wanted to kill some zombies in here in this whatever this lighthouse area uh you would have to swap to a melee weapon but now you can just stab them and you don't have to worry about shooting them uh, and getting attention drawn over to you. You can just stab them to death, and it's also got a super long range. Like, overall, it's just like a really, really good weapon. You don't have to swap. There's no reason for you to take up space with an additional melee weapon. Uh, you have an all-in-one machine. Let's say you're out here stabbing zombies with your gun. There's no swapping that needs to be done to your firearm in case somebody shoots you up on the hills. Uh, speaking of getting shot at, there were some awesome tweaks to the reputation system in regards to determining who the aggressor was in a PvP scenario. Before, if you just shot somebody, uh, you were determined as the aggressor, but a lot of people uh, commented a ton of ideas regarding um, how to improve that system, and Nelson has added a couple of your guys' ideas, one of which, if you miss your shot, if, you, if it was a near miss, uh, you will still be determined as an aggressor. So let's say um, I'm minding my own business, and Fred up there... I think he's going to shoot me. Maybe Fred. I know, Fred, I know I know you're a nice guy, but this is just for video, okay? Let's say I think Fred has some sort of conspiracy to kill me, uh, and I try and shoot him, but I miss. Near miss right there. The bullet hit the wall behind him, very, very close to hitting him. Uh, within four meters of a player, uh, if you shoot at them, but you miss, and also if you hit them, uh, you will be determined as an aggressor in that scenario. So now that I've near missed shot him, he can shoot back at me and kill me and not lose reputation now. So very, very cool in that regard. Also, if I throw a grenade at him and fail miserably, I am now the aggressor in this scenario. He can kill me. Also, if I'm using a steely wheelie on his car, let's say he's got a car down here. I'm, I'm stealing his car. He can shoot me and kill me. Uh, I'm also the aggressor in that scenario. Also, if I'm holding a detonator, if I'm approaching his base with a detonator, he is free to shoot me and kill me. I will also be determined as the aggressor in that scenario. So, really, I mean, if you are being shot at and you want to shoot back out of self-defense, really, you're good to go. Um, if you want to play as a friendly person, you will be treated as a friendly person in this game. I... I don't think there's really any other ways for you to be accidentally determined as a bad person in PvP anymore, but if you guys 
have some ideas in regards to improvements to this system, be sure to comment them down below. But right now, I'm really, really liking this. Very, very minor change, but there was a tweak to the gunshot roll-off sound. So, uh, in case you guys are wondering what that means, basically, uh, before gunshot sounds from a distance, it was like basically full volume, full volume, full volume, full volume, half volume, no volume. That's basically how it worked. It was it was really, really weird. Uh, but now the gunshot sounds are a little cooler in that they travel a lot further and they fade out over a much longer distance here. So let's say you're minding your own business, swimming way out here in the lagoon, and somebody shoots way over there, right there. Long distance away, you can hear it. Very, very faintly. But as you get further away, it gets quieter. Listen to that, listen how quiet that is. You can still hear it here. It's crazy, it's crazy. People can hear it way over there. So you really, really have to be careful in regards to gunshots. Uh, a suppressor is going to be very, very useful. Basically, I mean, I was standing here and Anybody in this entire radius, I'll put a circle here, um, anybody in that radius can hear you. So you gotta be really, really stealthy in that regard, especially on PvP servers. Shooting will attract a lot of attention. Now back on the Liberator aircraft carrier here, there were a ton of new NPCs added. Now I don't really remember these guys, like Andy, or any of these. Like I'm not sure if these were here last week, or maybe this was added once I finished a quest. And I'm very happy to be more. I don't remember these guys at all. There were there are tons of people everywhere. Like we got Peter here, hi Peter, and then we got this guy right here, and then there's that guy, and then inside there's this guy. I mean there's tons and tons of generic NPCs that are just there to say welcome aboard. You should go talk to Captain Sydney on the bridge for orientation. Yada yada. Anyway. Uh, there are tons of people in that regard everywhere. This is a guard for Captain Sydney's quarters or whatever. We're part of an international force formed in the wake of the outbreak called Coalition. Our mission here is to rescue as many survivors like you as possible and to unite and reclaim our home. Anything to report? Can I join a coalition? What ranks are there? Well, I, I don't want to get involved in this. Just, just yeah. I'm going to start by uh, showing you guys one of the quests available. Uh, from Rusty, good old Rusty. Now we did some quests for him last week. He is over here. Remember we painted the Liberator sign. I think this time uh, This nautical nuisance is a new quest available one of many that have been added this week So this is just one example barnacles are starting the form of the Liberator's hole But Rusty's joints are acting up too much dive down and scrape them off You'd appreciate it if you can help out because given time they can cause quite a bit of trouble I can clean them up uh, and earn 50 experience and plus 5 reputation. Hope you're a good swimmer. This ship will be spick and span in no time. Alright, so let's head up to the surface here. Once again, a very, very basic quest. Uh, there are a lot more advanced ones if you start getting involved in the coalition. Alright, now I believe those were all the barnacles there. Let me uh, check the quests. Nautical nuisance, I got a check mark. Uh, all right. Oh shoot, I just abandoned it. Oh no, there needs to be a confirmation code for that. Oh God. Oh no. What is he gonna say? Oh God. Oh wait, clean up nine out of nine barnacles. Hope you're a good swimmer. Okay, good, good. I scraped up, okay, good. Whew. All right, we're good. I thought I had to go back down there and scrape them. I scraped off all those, and now we got 50 experience, five reputation. So that's one example of the nautical nuisance quests there. Uh, very, very basic. Now, in regards to all of the fancy quests that are available in the Coalition, I actually haven't been able to play much of any of the quests in the past week. I've been busy driving to TwitchCon, being at TwitchCon, and driving back from TwitchCon. I got back yesterday. It was an awesome event, by the way. But unfortunately, I didn't really get to play any of these NPCs, so I don't really know much of anything regarding the uh, the quests other than Rusty's quests, obviously. And I'd love to actually try out all of the quests that have been added both last week and this week. And if you guys like to tag along, I'm probably going to be live streaming on Twitch right now. Actually, well, let me change that. I will be streaming on Twitch right now. So if you guys like to tag along and play around with the new quests that have been added this week and last week, uh, be sure to click the link in the description down below. I'll probably be streaming until the end of today. But anyway, that does pretty much wrap up everything that was added in Unturned 3.17.1.0. Know. If you guys would like to know more specifics regarding the new quests that were added this week and new characters, also tweaks and fixes and improvements, you guys can check that out in the description down below. As always, I will link the full update post there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that shit because me like they cool. It's out.